Are you a fan of Star Wars, Marvel, Jurassic Park, The Office, or Disney and Pixar movies? Or do you just want a sleek, comfortable pattern shirt? Then you need to check out Roosevelt's.com. Roosevelt's clothing is the most eye-catching and comfortable clothing available on the market. From button-ups to hoodies, hats, and more, Roosevelt's truly has something for everyone. Check them out today at Roosevelt's.com. That is R-S-V-L-T-S dot com. And when you do, make sure to use promo code SWOGGLE to save 20% off your order. Made for those with a love of sports, pop culture, and all of the above, this is clothing for the bold and fun for those who dare mighty things. So that's promo code SWOGGLE to save 20% off new clearance and restocks at roosevelts.com. Hey guys, another episode of Going Postal. If you read in the description, which I'm assuming you did because you clicked on it, it's a small talk day. Today, we interview Matthew from Botchamania. But before we go any farther, before we go any farther, I'm Dylan. That's George. Talk to him, my friend. Wow, I'm so excited you remember to do it this week. Hi. I do Welcome good. Welcome to the podcast. This show. I'm on. You did good. I'm, I'm very on. proud of you. This podcast is brought to you by our good friends over at Roosevelt's. Make sure to go and check out all of their fine shirt at rsvlts.com. Dylan is on his game this week. Dylan is on his game. I'm ready. I'm ready to jump into this episode. I'm having a good week. We got big things to come on this podcast and in uh, in the world of Postal Industries. So yeah, <sighs> to Matthew, uh, I have been a fan of everything he's done uh, since the beginning. And again, it was one of those things where... We've never met. He obviously lives in the UK. So we never met until StarCast years and years later. And uh, it was fun. It was, but, but then being able to, to catch up, my mic worked. My camera worked. I made sure to check everything like a real Man. GD interviewer. And even during the yeah. interview, he seems to say, oh, man, that's a good question. Whether he was being facetious or not. Another postal word that I really, really like that I cannot spell. Uh, I thought you were claiming ownership for the word facetious. I was about to be so so oh. confused. Like that's not a postal word. You didn't make that up. Postal enjoys the word facetious, though. I uh, oh, I, would you I, say that you are a big facetious guy? Should we add it to the list? I don't know if that should be categorized as big facetious guy. <sighs> going off topic, this is going to be a really quick intro. I had all <laughs> intention on this being a quick intro. I'm. Why are you holding a hanger? I'm. I'm futzing. Is that a word that you use? With a, with a like a whole ass hanger? Yeah, I'm futzing. So what happens is this is audio and video podcast. Many times I'll be playing with it, and because it's a plastic one, I'll I was really afraid I was going to do it there. I'll oh, I thought you were going to say that you snap it. It just hits me right in the face a lot. Uh, I have so many questions, but I'm just, not going to keep going on, on tangents. First time of the day, I'm I'm wearing a shirt today. I had a, I, I I can't do the I can't do the episode pop top. I cannot do it. And and I've had to yell at you for that before. <laughs> remember the time? Remember the time I showed my ass? <laughs> I just thought of that. I was wearing I was wearing my pajama, my my real good bedtime shorts. Just showed my ass. <laughs> hey! <laughs> uh, and then the worst part is I had to see it twice because I also had to edit it out of the podcast. <laughs> Guys, here's the interview with Matthew. Guys, let's talk about Mad Cat Beard Care. They make my beard feel soft, silky smooth, and they can do the same for yours. A one-man show since 2019, Mad Cat uses a portion of their sales to care for local stray cats. That money covers their medical bills and finds them safe spaces and forever homes. 
Their products are made to order with vitamins and all natural oils that promote strong, healthy hair and moisturize your skin as well. They've got exclusive scents for myself as well as other wrestlers like my good pal Brian Myers, Mr. Kennedy, and Ring of Honor legend Delirious. Make sure to check out all of their scents along with my Swaggled scent, which has notes of lavender and sage. I absolutely love this scent. And guys, we've got an exclusive offer for listeners of Going Postal. Use promo code SWAGGLED to save yourself 15% on your orders only at madcatbeardcare.com. That is swoggled with a D on the end to save yourself 15% on your orders at madcatbeardcare.com. Guys, that's 15% with promo code SWOGGLED. And remember, the Mad Cat makes a happy beard. Another small talk, this time with a guy uh, that I have been a fan of, a guy that uh, I have watched his uh, his stuff and his content, and now my son is a fan of and watching his content. <laughs> And it's it's very full circle, and uh, and I love it. My friend Matthew from Botchamania fame, this is him. Hey, pal. Hello, Dylan, my new friend. <laughs> this, and uh, professional envy maker, I guess. <laughs> after that lovely introduction, <laughs> the source of all my insecurity. It's Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> My son will only listen to me if coded messages are put into the Botchimania intro. <laughs> That's it's it's a funny thing how I talk about it a lot. Like so, having you on, uh, Brad Williams as well. Um, how I never knew you besides through social media, and then until yeah. years later when we finally met at Starcast. But when we met at StarCast, it was like, oh, it's like talking to a buddy that I've known for years and just uh, literally like we've met a million times. But it was the same with Brad Williams, where it was like, I only knew him because of Twitter and because we're essentially the same human. Uh, and then when we finally met, it was like, oh, I've known you forever. But really, we haven't. So it's, it's, it's crazy how social media kind of it brings people together in a... It, as as negative as it can be at times, it's also very very positive, obviously, and very like, I don't know, it's the new pen pal, but way easier. Right, I get what you're saying. It's nice to know to start off. You know, it's like uh, playing a video game for the first time, and it goes. Have yeah. you played this game before? You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah I know the buttons. <laughs> I watch as you shoot, and I'm about him sleeping in the drawer <laughs> off the rumble and all that stuff. So I watched him talk about who's really a dick, but just for yeah. the clicks. <laughs> yeah, getting hit um, in his entire body by Broda's clay, you know, like oh yeah, like, and it was so lovely seeing you, Dylan, because it was like, oh boy, I finally get to meet Dylan. We talk, oh, it's gonna be so good. I met all the other crazy people, be in the same room as Ricky Morton, Vampiro, yeah. you know, Brett Lauderdale, the giants of the business, and then <laughs> oh boy, my buddy Dylan, I think we're okay. I don't know, opinions could change like a light switch with wrestlers. <laughs> Hey, Dylan, how's life here at Caesar's Palace, you know, three I miles in, in, and you were miserable. Yeah. You were just glum. It was it was a long day. It was, uh, it was a long one, but that was, I, I, I had it written down. It was like, that was StarCast in Vegas, I remember. Right. And I just remember I was so thankful, so thankful to be there. Was that the first StarCast, too? No, was that, it was the it, second one. It was that the did second StarCast one, okay. one in Chicago. That's right. That's right. That's right. So it was the second StarCast, but it was the first one I had. It was the, no, because I was at the first one too. Well, yeah. But what sticks out to me about the Vegas one is the walk from like it seemed like forever to get to the StarCast like ballroom, especially like my table in that. It was like man, and dragging my merch bag, which. If you've seen me at a show, my merch bag could be a hotel room for me. So it was just dragging it through Caesar's Palace and just getting to the to the finally to there and then back. It was just uh, it was a long day. 
But uh, we pulled up a chair and and we had a good conversation. Then it was it was like like I said, it was literally like we've known each other for ages, and we had at that time, but literally just through social media. Right, it's almost like skip the good stuff. But I'm mm-hmm. sorry you had that kind of experience. But absolutely, though, you needed to get your cardio in to do Vegas, especially <laughs> yeah, when they it was such a far walk. Especially when Caesar's Palace is designed to keep you in. Exactly. And you're like, oh, well, might as well drink at this establishment, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, if on <laughs> if Mister Dylan is here, it can't be that expensive. I bought you Bryce Remsburg, who was passing. Oh, hi, Matthew. And then um, somebody else who some who other was- YouTuber. Who just happened to be with Bryce, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I bought them a drink, and they were staring. I think it might be the the New York guy, but I don't really know him that well, so I don't know. Um, but I'm Rim? like, do you want one as well? And he was just like, yeah. So there's a photo of us three together, and Jack the Jobber from Cultaholic loves this story about seeing right. me, you, and Bryce, and I think that other guy as well, because says, because I'm only five seven, so it's like Matthew. It's the most you've looked normal. Because <laughs> Bryce, bless him, is not exactly elegant himself. So you'll have to send me that to post with fuck. this. With this, uh, look at who that guy was. Yeah, I, I can't think now. What did he say? Anything? He was just, you know, it's like you know when you talk, you your two friends are talking to each other, and there's another yeah. friend there who doesn't know him, so he's just there, like, yeah, I'm the, gonna look at my phone. The third wheel of just like, oh, I'm here too. Yeah, a free <laughs> shot. Sure, cheers, pal. And then Matthew gets the bill and goes, oh, it's Vegas, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> oh. I do remember like the, one of the good parts too is seeing like people watching of like fans, 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 fans. Oh, Ricky Morton, fans, fans, yeah, fans, yeah, yeah, fans, yeah, yeah. fans. Oh, here's this guy. Fans like me it was, stopping it was... hardcore Nick Gage and going, excuse me, sir. Do you have any t shirts <laughs> for sale? He went, why? Yes, I do, indeed, yeah. young lad. Me, young yeah. whippy snapper. All right, we got to dive in. Uh, so I, I did some research, and not only it was, I, I did a little research, but also I am such a fan of everything you've done and everything, uh, just that goes along with Botchmania and all of that. That I didn't have to do a ton. It's just like easy. Hmm. This, which is what I've wanted all of these small talks to be, is Good, a, a, a chat between buddies about things that we enjoy. So, what I didn't know is that you weren't the starter of it. And That's I right. didn't know that. It was like a message board thing. And then yeah. you kind of took the reins. Yeah. I didn't realize like I was going to keep on doing this. Decades later, but yeah, Botchmania One was made by a username Key Crusher ninety nine, who I've never spoken to. I remember that username, right? And I like it stands. Could have been thought... anybody though in the early two thousands though. Key Crusher ninety nine. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the cool names. Shooting saw <laughs> drop three sixty. You know, all right. Tiger cool. Driver ninety nine. That, that, there probably, you go, right? It was like ninety nine point two and seven. Yeah. There you go. So uh, how did it? How did you take the reins of it? Right. I well, they were just on early. You, I mean, we're talking like day one YouTube. It was like the, the first video on YouTube was you know the Janet Jackson tit uh, from the Super Bowl. And then <laughs> is that true? The sec- second person- video was Botchamania One, I guess. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the other person was uh, the late John Barber. He was a referee for Chikara. Okay. Uh, who he said he worked alongside it, and then he never said anything until years later and said, "Oh yeah, I did that." I went. Really? I've been talking to you for ages. He goes, yeah, it's me. <laughs> I'm like, well, no one else has taken ownership of it. So, yeah, sure. No one else is going to come. So you never knew. Yeah, that was me. Um, okay. So then he did a Botchmania 2. is just Botchmania 1 again. But they said, they said Botch- I love this, though. But Botchmania 2 is Botchmania 1, like, redux. I went, like, Apocalypse Now? I, okay. <laughs> I thought that was pretentious. And then Botchmania 3 happened. Now, Botchmania 3 is the important one. Because Botchmania okay. 3 was made by a username Joey Knight Heat from the old WrestleCrap forums. Before I got turned to Wrestle Wrestling, which I don't never understood that. Uh, so, and I never spoke to him, but Botchmania 3 stunk. So I, having literally just got a laptop for my parents, how far back this was, because I got good grades, because I was a SWAT. <laughs> I thought I thought studying hard at school was what you're supposed to do with life. Oh, well, if any kids listen to this, <laughs> nah. Do drugs. <laughs> Um, so I got the laptop and thought, sod it, I'll edit, I'll, I'll, I'll teach myself how to video edit and, uh, I'll make one that's better than this. Cause I could think yeah. of a few botches that weren't in it. And that was Botchmania 4 and about 10 people watched it. Most of them insomniacs walking their dogs and, uh, so- but a few people's like two, maybe two or one comments going, oh, this is good. You should keep it up. 
separate then, from, but that was on your separate channel, separate from. Yeah, they were all on different ones. It wasn't like there was a Botchamania channel. Um, oh, the YouTube. Okay, okay. They were all like different. I think the first Botchamania was before, was made before YouTube. And that's when that's a weird, that easy on, period. Yeah, I, mean, port, like, I, mean, I, I forget how old you are, Dylan, but I mean, there was that time when there were videos online, but they were pretty hard to see because it's great. You can just get VLC or even just Windows yeah. Media Player and yeah. just click, drag, oh, it works. Yep. You used to have to have Codex. Lime you used to have the right file name, .rn. I still don't know what that is, you know, and all the rest of this stuff. So I, I YouTube remember when changed I got into so Lime much stuff wire. for so many people. Yeah, I got into yeah, okay, LimeWire. Yeah, there we go. And like all of those. those. And like that's how I downloaded it. Like the first Jackass movie, I remember, and all of that. And just <clears> random. <throat> it was a lot of CZW, like best of the best was yeah. through LimeWire. Yes. And it took days to download a three yes. minute video. My brother bricked his laptop after a month. Um, <laughs> and my parents specifically told me, can you please show your brother how to use a computer and not how to break it? <laughs> And I tried to explain them. I'm sorry to break it to your brother. Like I'm Hogan now. I'm sorry to break it to your brother, but there isn't a Christine Aguilera sex tape. <laughs> they, don't, don't. And I swear to God, it's between that and trying to download all of Dragon Ball Z. You know, comes up like 70 gigabytes on this yeah. 4.3 gigabyte hard drive, and it was fucking dead. Sorry for swearing. So. You just so you yeah so then I carried on, on basically and that's that's the, the the very boring bit is I carried on and then just kept on making it and it just people kept on, and then little bits just kept on getting tweaked more of me came out I guess more of the I stopped using doing it because it used to be thou shalt use these the wrestling songs you know and you'll know won't you Creed yep. my cycle see if you can name one it was, it was interactive was, uh, trapped headstrong it was thank you uh, Hoover Stank which was my first backyard music. Uh, crawling in the oh, dark. Oh, which one? Crawling in the dark. Oh, really? Yeah, I've never heard the first backyard song. Show me what yep. it's worth. Yeah. <laughs> Is that uh, we on the ropes going, yeah, scream for me. There was a lot of tantric that was used. Um, yeah, yeah, but there was, it was any, it was anything around that, that new wave, not new wave. It's, it's on, oh, I have it on my, on my Spotify now because it's like, right. man, that 6 a.m. gym, the drive to the gym is always good for that. So, yeah. Uh, you did the other versions then stop, or was it? No, that was it. Never heard from until Mr. John Barber, who yep. then really didn't appreciate him being in Botchamania. He completely messed up a few counts in Chikara, and he was, he was pissed. Yeah, and I'm like, he he he, and he's like, no no no. But we very rarely spoke. Um, so it was a bit sad. He's passed away now, and it's a bit like, oh no, like. It's a bit sad, really. I mean, sorry, I don't know the tone, but it's just obviously... I never... By the way, I don't, like, want people to think that I've hidden it away. Like, oh, don't tell anybody. Dylan, cut that out. Like, yeah. no, I did. It's it's my... People think there's a great plan because YouTube's basically a very good way to do business if you know mm -hmm. what you're doing. I'm just lucky. Like, this is what I'm doing. This it is what seemed, people know me for. Yeah, and it seemed... We, when, we, when we sat down and had our, had our chat, it, it, it was that. It was, it was the whole... You're lucky to be. You always had the mindset of "I'm lucky to be here," and I'm. Yep. I, I don't know why people know me, and or <laughs> no. Uh, it was. It was. I don't know why people know of me, much less know me, kind of thing. And that's kind of what my next thing was: is where did you feel? Because I felt I watched from the beginning, and I really, <laughs> yeah, I truly did, and I can't like. I can't place my finger on it because I'm not you, obviously. When do you feel it was the, like, the, oh, shit, I got something here moment that, like, this is catching on. Like, this is, people are, not only are people enjoying it, because obviously it's it's fun to, if we really sit back and go, what are these? It's never been, like, I I never took it as making fun of wrestling. It's always been like a let's take a step back and not take this shit so seriously for once. Like, and I think people took it as, you know, some took it as making fun of. And I, I, I just never did. And I, I maybe, maybe I'm crazy in thinking that way. But was there a moment where you, you went, man, people are really enjoying this. 
There's two moments. You're, you're a good interviewer. You should tell <laughs> yourself. Uh, you like, you're like the good, evil David Letterman. <laughs> Which is just good, David Letterman, exactly. but I wanted to do a stern yeah, reference exactly. anyway. You know, yeah, I'm yeah, going to get yeah. talked something about that. Um, there's two moments. One was getting a, uh, a DM where back when YouTube did DMs, which is like, okay, you know, if I didn't feel old now, I definitely do now. From uh, Indie Resta, I hope you've heard of him, uh, Monster Mac. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And he sent me a message, and I just said, like, is this the Monster Mac? Like, as if there'd be someone cosplaying as Monster Mac online, but you know, there's a, <laughs> okay. bless him. Again, no disrespect intended. 99 and Tiger Driver 80. Yeah. Yeah. This was the Monster Mac. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. You know, uh, so I was like, oh, my God. And he's like, oh, yeah, it's me. Oh, I, lol, I didn't know you were a fan. I'm like, oh, yeah, man, you know, Ring of Honor 02, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and I was going yeah. with H.C. Loke a few months ago. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I literally went up to him. I said, you have no idea how much I watched of you. And not only that, I have a photo with you from when I was a fan before I got signed. Oh. Um, yeah. And it was like, I have one with him. I have one with Punk uh, in Chicago. Doesn't age well anymore. Uh, I have yeah. one <laughs> just with a bunch of people. Cabana at a Ring of Honor show. This is all in Ring of Honor in Chicago, where it's like, I remember I got one with the Ring Crew Express, and I was so happy. I was like, yeah, I love the oh, Ring Crew Express. Yes. And then I randomly asked, I forgot who I was, maybe it was Hawkins a, a few weeks ago. I was like, whatever happened to the Ring Crew Express? He goes, Dylan, that's one that I don't even know about but anymore. <laughs> I said, I, I, you, he's like, he's still the indie wrestling guy. If there's like, oh. if I need to track someone down or, hey, what's him? It's him. It's Hawkins and John Thorne know exactly what yes. every Ring of Honor guy is up to these days. So Monster Mac messaged you and that was, that stood out. Yeah, that was one of the moments. And yeah. the other one was, I went to uh, this thing called MagFest, Music and Gaming Festival. And it was really cool. I don't know. I was just getting into the music because one of the key things of the old botch menus and the new ones really, but. People seem to care less now because it's normal. Um, was the like the video game music? Yeah, because it used to be. What do you mean you're not using Disturbed or Drowning Pool? What's wrong with yeah. you, you sick freak? <laughs> so now I'm using you know Castlevania, and uh, so like there were bands that would play covers of. And I saw they were playing there. So this this big thing they go to every year, and uh, I went there and just had a lovely time, and then posted on the the YouTube you know the wall to my followers. Oh, I had a lovely time at Magfest. I had a few messages from you going, you're at Magfest. I was at MagFest. What do you tell me? I went, tell you? Well, what? Why? No, no. What? This is a yeah. laptop. I switch my laptop off. That's it. Yeah. I'm no longer Batman. <laughs> I'm not even Swamp Thing, you know, even though I look like it. So it was when I said, I said, oh, I should go next year. And I said, I went, well, have a look. And it says, like, to apply to be a guest. And I had a look. And there was... There were people there who were booked on who were like this the Tharum so and so, this so and so and so. I, I couldn't I if it gun to my head, I couldn't name any of the people there. But I had a look and I had more subs than them. I'm like, oh not only am I gonna apply to be a guest um and get a take oh, I'll do a panel or whatever, but like, oh, I'm actually bigger than some of these people. Oh. And I was just like, I wasn't ready for that. Like, I'm oh. So they were being like at MacFest, you were like treated very well. There were no egos. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, and that was, that was at the, the same first time. People who were yeah. big fans would still be like, you know, like how when I met you, <laughs> when you got there, like when you were a guest then, uh, was it that feeling that like, Oh man, I am doing something pretty cool. That's affecting people. It was the first time I'd, uh, I'd seen real yeah. people. Yeah. Be like, oh, it's you. They all pointed to me like the the aliens in Toy Story. It's yeah, it's it it's like yeah. Uh. When when people know it's Ray without the mask. It's it's that weird feeling of yeah, yeah. Oh, that is Ray. Okay. That's awesome. My God. And, yeah. So was there was there along with that, do you feel was there a video, uh, an addition that you put out where like, man, this one's killing it. We're onto something? Or was it really just over time? Of more and more messages. Yeah, like anything else, it starts off it's like making a house made of Lego. We could have start off with this and yeah. just brick by brick. But there was a time when I did get a message. There's a lot of like old memories coming out now from saying this, but like I got a message from someone. I wish I'd saved it. Someone had left a comment going, I really need this right now. My life's really bad. And I'm like, oh, you know, how can watch a video make your life better? But yeah, thanks anyway. And the guy DM'd me and said, like, 
no, really, listen, my wife's left me. Uh, I'm maybe losing my job and my dog's sick. Like, I really needed your video today. And I'm just like, wow. This is just bleep, bleep, bloop, bloop, fall, fall, laugh, laugh to yeah. me. Like, yeah, to so you like, oh. again. Yeah. To you, it's yeah. just putting on all content that, and maybe at that point you're still enjoying and you, you probably, you know, still do obviously because you're still doing it, but it's, it's stuff that you're just putting out there. You don't know how much it affects someone. I got, it, it's, it's, it's stuff like that where I, when someone comes to the table and they go, man, it, it, it's, I, the, the, the biggest thing now is I, you, I, you were my childhood and God damn it. It makes me feel so old, but it's also like, oh, that is a pretty cool thing to feel. And, and that's, those are hearing it from someone in a different, uh, it's, it's part of the wrestling business that you are. It's, it's cool. Cause I experienced that. It, it just, no matter what, it makes me happy. The videos make me happy. And yeah. it's one of those things where it's just, it, it's fun. They're always fun. And I'm glad that you got that experience. I'm glad that you got that message so early and that, that it really hit someone that early because that keeps you going, obviously. Yeah. I was gonna kid it. I was gonna try. I'll say it again in, in English. I was gonna quit at number fifty. Oh my god! Oh really? Done. Yeah, but so number fifty been, sucked. Where, where <laughs> number fifty been was writer, just it, heroes of wrestling, and people are like it's crazy, isn't it? Because one of the worst things about making Botchmania is me assuming that people are that big a wrestling nerd as me. Yeah, and it's crazy, isn't it? Because it's like they can't possibly be. There's so many people well, of different you- generations and years and stuff like that. Um, people like myself, they can't all be pe- cool people who used to watch. You know all the rows and pay per views from 2011 to 2013 yeah. or 15, higher than you know giraffe's vagina. Going, oh look at Hornswoggle, he's got a mullet now. <laughs> What's that about? You talked about the the Chikara ref that that kind of gave you a hard time a bit. Uh, is there anyone that you can talk about? Obviously, that stands out, or a couple that stand out that have given you a hard time about being included. But- like any I think it's all right stories? to say it now because it's like 10 years. It's probably the anniversary of it now I think about it. But like it's the silver anniversary of when Joe Casey um, was obviously doing – I was going to say he's doing well at NXT. He's absolutely not, but it's not his fault. Um, he's uh, He just got mad, I guess, because he was in CZW and he was booked – to be the top dude yeah. when it's like just because your mates friends of the book it really yeah. felt like that and i don't care what it, i don't know okay anyone says i'm a big fan of that beauty of that that stupid wrestling company that may be alive or dead who knows or cares right now yeah. in 2024 but like he was just like who decides how, how does this person decide what is and isn't a botch and it was just like being thrown the biggest beach ball ever because every time I was just like by watching your matches joe gacy thwack um and he just kept on going and going and i'm like joe i love you i've absolutely no hate towards you whatsoever because you're making mm-hmm. me look like rodney dangerfield right now so um and i just ended it with the best thing about this is joe gacy i mean i did it in the next video and joe gacy's already in it and he just went all right you know but those dudes like Lucky 13, like, can we get Matthew Book for Cage of Death? <laughs> <laughs> but I think we're cool now because, like I said, he, he, like, I always had this on because, like I said, it's, it's, it's very rarely I want to like properly antagonize a wrestler or anything else yeah. like that or for their ring work. Like, oh, wait, man. But like, he got way better since. And he's doing way better. He wanted to appear to be him as good as his opponent. So if he was yeah. against a you know a proper wrestler, he'd have a proper good match. Yeah. So yeah. again, it's not his fault. NXT is what it is. It's that's not his but fault. that's like the other one though, that's the one I always give Dylan, because you're a special friend. The other one was the only negative time I've had with a wrestler. Uh was in Germany, and I didn't realize. I feel really foolish now, but I see it makes sense afterwards. But it was with uh what a German uh, uh VXB. Yep. And Speedball Mike Bailey had just had like one of the best matches of the year with El Bandito. And uh, so I was waiting to see Alexander James because I had a CZ dub thing and all that stuff. Hey, so I went to see him, but like Spiel Mike Bailey's table's right there. So I said, Oh, great match yesterday. And he gave me the death stare of all death stares. And I didn't realize because I'm a bit slow. I have to have things point out to me. So I think he's, I, oh, he's not looking at me like he's mad at me. He's looking at me like he doesn't know what I'm talking about. I went, <laughs> You know, yesterday. 
you and El Bandido. Like he'd forget. He <laughs> <laughs> very quietly. Like, yes, I know. And then uh, I was just like, and it dawned on me like in real time, like, oh, I didn't need to say like, oh, you don't like me, do you? I was like, all right, fine. I was just like, okay, well, have a nice weekend. <laughs> That's really great. like Alex- and then like seconds later, Alexander James went, "Hey, it's my food. Come here, man." <laughs> That's how he talks. <laughs> so it's just like, oh look, I'll just keep away from this person because it's like again, I don't. I've never really, actually. I'm not going to be these people that goes, "How dare you not like my content?" It's yeah. completely understandable. It's a very yeah. weird feeling to be. It's not a feeling that you want to have when you know where you're 100 percent in the wrong. Uh, yeah, you're like, exactly. you don't like me. Completely get it. Yep. Not a problem. Have a nice life. Don't care. That's awesome. I mean, I do care. I mean, obviously, I'm just, you know, just, you know, put a little love heart next time you mess up. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about, I, 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 I mentioned how much of a fan I am. And then you talked about the early days where there wasn't, uh, you wanted to make it different with the video game music and not the, the hard, heavy metal, hard rock. The thing that stands out to me is always like the running gags. And I talked to Landon hmm. about this is the, the dusty commentary or here comes Mongo, which is the, the, or the, you talk too much, which is our favorite. And where did the ideas for that come from? Or was it just like a random, uh, this made me laugh. So I'm going to put it in. And then people liked it so much. You had to keep going with it. Wow. Combination of all three, to be honest okay. with you. Yeah. It's just like, you'd see shows, like over here, I mean, you have sports shows, don't they? Like the regular bits, like the yeah. ESPN not top 10 or whatever. And it's realized, oh, there's similar things happening. It would be nice if we did a little thing for that, you know, because people like it. People like it when they go, hey, it's that, you know. And obviously, I am the table was a good idea because now whenever a table like, doesn't break even a slight bit, even when they do break, because people are like, ah, oh, I didn't break enough. <laughs> Exactly. It's always this, exactly. It's always, I am the table. I, yelled from like the very back, cheapest seat. That I fully put you as like. If a table doesn't break, people instantly think of your videos, which in itself, no one thought of that before. No one thought of like, oh man, this is a reoccurring thing in wrestling history. Just watch it, you know. Think about when it happened then, and then, and then. But now it's known that it happens, and it's almost yeah. like. If it doesn't happen once, oh man, they're going for it again. Is it gonna? Oh, it doesn't happen again. And now we just wanted to keep yeah. going and trying, and it's not happening. I right. the shows ACW shows. It's like when it doesn't happen. It's even for us. It's like oh, oh god, oh no, don't try it again. Oh, he's trying it again, and it's not gonna work. So stuff like that is is crazy too to me. That it's and it has to be kind of nuts to you of how it's. That's you. That's the, the that mindset is because of what you've done with your videos. Yeah, I, I, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> and again, it's like surely making a positive out a negative, right? The table didn't break because it used to be, you know, <laughs> boo, you fucked up, boo, yeah. you know, you see dub, you know, these are rotten, like hateful bastards. You're like, yeah. are you even watching wrestling? This guy messed up. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, I fucking that- loved it. They tell me and um. Me and the Cole Hurt crew were doing a Rumble watch on in London, and Typhoon's going to be there. Oh, th- that's coming up. That's that's this that's uh, for this Rumble. That's right. Yeah, I just saw it. Uh, it's just like, is there? But with those segments, did you know that you had to always include them? Then it's funny you say that because it's like there'll be times I won't put. I, I yeah. went for a period of not putting these things in, uh-huh. like or doing the thing. Uh, and it was just to play with people. And I think it was like, oh, I probably had a negative mindset that week. But you're like, I'm not going to leave it in. Because then people go, where was it? I'm like, that's right. I could take it away at any minute. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, you do some cardio. You're like, what am I doing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Screw you for liking my thing. It's, like, it's a weird thing being a creator because you get these thoughts and then you step outside and go, wait, none of this matters. None of the things I'm thinking about is actually a, a thing that affects the product. Yeah. So, but yeah. Basically, people like it. Keep on doing it. Why else do we do things? Exactly. That's exactly it. Uh, another fun thing and a common uh, staple in them is the wrestler intros for them. Mm. Is there one that sticks out in your mind? Or like, how did that, was that just a, how did that all start? Was that a, 
then you're again you're someone comes up to you like hey i'm a fan of what you're doing uh, uh no no that very rarely happens uh actually no no actually it is happened a few times stokely hathaway came awesome. i don't really know him because he was in jakar at that point yeah so he was you know nobody really but he was entertaining but i'm just like i don't know you so i'm gonna leave you alone because i assume that every yeah. wrestler hates me so um you know so he came up to me and he was doing the you know shy girl at the dance thing like oh look at how you know eyes not mean all right just came over and just like hi can i you know do an intro yeah. yeah sure but to begin with it was a a really small newcastle that's where i'm based in england um wrestling company which never ran after that. It was our last show they did. Really loaded show, but they had El Generico. Okay. Um, in the main event. I'm like, wow, El Generico. And I took my mate. He was on a, he was on a bad day. He's like, I, hey, you want to go to the wrestling show? No. Oh, come on. So like, no, look, I'll pay for your ticket. Come on. You know, just go, go out the house, you know, do yeah. your world of good. And he did. He was like, so thankful. But I'm so glad I did it because, you know, sometimes just fate and stuff happens. El Gino goes there, silent stuff, and he went, you should ask him. So like, ask him what? It's like, ask him to watch you watch me. No, Matthew, ask him to do an intro. And I went, no, you'll beat me up. You know, it's like, well, he went, shut up, do it. He said, you drag me out here. I'm telling you to do this. He goes, no, all right. So I went and did it. And he, he was still in full character. So he was going, you, you, you do the butch, man. You know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, good, good, uh, good video. L, 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 Spanish, Spanish, you know. <laughs> um, so I asked him to do an intro and he was the first one. I, I'm El Generico and I like butch radio, whatever. So I did yeah. that. It's like, all right. And I got, uh, Zach Sabre Jr. and name redacted, uh, was also there to do it. So it was like, oh, and so I just started. And it's only this year when I've run out and I'm there like, I'm all right. No one seems to be complaining. <laughs> I, I did see someone. It was nice that people send them and make them. It was just funny that they would always be the worst video quality. Whenever I film them, proper camera, yep. you know, a lot of action. verticals. Yeah. Yeah. Like, right. I've had to zoom in. So it's, yeah. Hi, it's me. Someone did a, oh, I wish I could find this, but someone did a really funny like tweet about it ages ago. And it was just like, Hey, it's me, the donkey kid wrestling for dog shit wrestling. <laughs> and you're watching Bocce Mania. And it's just like, oh, God, is that ain't true. Uh, you know? But, yeah, but like I said, I'm very appreciative of it. There's been some crazy ones, though. Like yeah. Lloyd Kaufman of Troma did one. Um, AJ Styles, he was IWGP champ. <laughs> he had the title belt there. I'm like, what? Onita did one. Um, Lola, who looked very yeah. impressed. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's like, Jesus. Most of these people go on to win world titles as well. So it's like, oh, okay, cool. So it's AJ. Would you say AJ is the one that stands out the most of like, uh, again, going back to the oh shit moment? Or are there is there one even bigger? Is there another one separate from him looking back? Bigger than AJ Styles? Again, with the title over his yeah. shoulder as he's doing it. I'm like, Jesus. I mean, they're all nice. Mick Foley, because he's my favorite wrestler of all time. Yeah. Um, yeah. AJ, yeah, you know, I'm going with AJ just because he clearly knew what it was. Because it says, "Hey, there's sometimes he puts some stuff in that weren't botches," <laughs> and I put a little caption for like half a second that says "lies." <laughs> <laughs> Which again, also just to say, it's I'm glad that speak to someone like yourself who gets the humor because yeah. it is funny. Because one thing about social media is you do find out the people who don't get the humor. No, and they will be so much louder than people who do. So that's like, oh, people don't because like these we're videos. We're just sitting back enjoying it. <laughs> That's that's the difference. We're not we're not watching it to pick it apart. We're sitting back enjoying it and having a laugh with the 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 creator, the content creator. That's that's yeah. If you're watching Thank something, you. that's to the pick, idea. Like yeah, if you're you're what I'm not watching something to pick it apart. I'm just enjoying it, and then it happens. That's awesome. Is is there it, it, along with the intros? You then uh, the the fan made outros which are another highlight yeah. are an absolute highlight. And they're always now Landon And I, again, I go back to him because I'll talk about it later, but he is cack. He just cackles at the end of it because now there's so rapid fire and pop, bomb, 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 bomb. Was that just someone sending you content or like, like, People well, to begin with, time? I made all of them. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And then people were like, I've got an idea. And I went, Oh, okay, that's nice. And I was just like, 
damn it, this person's already done this idea. And they're like, no, you can put it in. And I was just like, oh, I'll give you credit. Yeah. I think the large part of that is just giving credit. It's very easy to steal stuff now and just say, put your trademark over it. But I'm like, I'm always like, no, I'll, I'll give credit. You made this. Yeah. <laughs> Cough, 90s WWE. Um, so it's just <laughs> nice to, uh, I think people are like, oh, look, my name. You know, and yeah. I see people on other wrestling groups going, look, look, there's my name. And they circle it. Like, look, that's me. <laughs> like, Which oh, is, nice, that's man. crazy in itself. It has to be nuts for you. It, it, yeah. People are loving just seeing not only themselves, but even just their name pop up as as a contributor. Yeah, credit where it's due. Yeah, exactly. Uh, is there one of those that that kind of comes to mind as, man, this guy did something I never would have thought of? So StarCast 1 yep. was, hey, Matthew, I'm, this is Carney Thompson. You know, do you own or rent your home? Sure you do. You know, yeah. uh, I'd love to fly you over here and you can be part of the um, get high and watch wrestling thing with X-Pac and the amazing Ron Funches. Yep. Ah. And uh, so we, I, I just made the videos stuff that people make fun of whilst everyone got baked, uh, which is very nice. I wish I could remember any of it. <laughs> but someone sent in an amazing video and it was just like, I'm there like, how can I end this? And it's sometimes, like I said, you look at your phone and click and goes, oh. And yeah. it was rest and stuff set to bohemian rhapsody and i'm just like like the whole song you're like wow and it was staggering because over here in this part of the world if you put bohemian rhapsody on everyone sings like okay yeah yeah. everyone's in the good mood stuff like that well this fucking thing with all the rest of them fans they were just like (laughs) oh i'm like and i went Oh no! No one's singing the beam and raps. All right, that's it. That's it. Cut, cut. We're going to the finish. One, two, three. I'm getting out of here. Like, but they just started popping and reacting in a way that I hadn't thought possible because they kept on like the, the guy who made it was like yeah. just took his time, and it would it, would, it could have been a more perfect audience as well because it's like oh yeah oh if Macho Man shows up crowd goes yay Owen Hart shows up yay Scott Hall shows up. A big cheer to turn around and he's there in the crowd. I'm like, okay. It's just like, we got him. It's oh, all right. That's and then even just kept better. doing that. And then I tried to stand up and my body rejected me because I was too high. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do edibles, Dylan. <laughs> Not even the little ones. <laughs> so going with that then, is there, I gotta, I gotta ask, there's gotta be no, I won't even see the one. What would you say are the top three botches that stand out to you? Well, I can't do Shockmaster three times. I, All right. No, uh, I knew he's it. A, he's I, a I citizen a, Kane of botches. Would you say that the Shockmaster thing is really what, like, that's what made you almost interested in this? In the whole thing? Well, yeah, WrestleCrap.com got me yes. into it originally, and yep. they positioned this, and it's almost in disbelief going, wait, there was a live TV special this happened on, and they thought this was a good idea, and your brain, your brain can't get around it. I'm like, but it's it's Typhoon with a Stormtrooper helmet yeah. and a big fuzzy jacket, I yeah. guess. Ooh. And they're going to overdub him, because I guess if you tried talking, it would go like, <laughs> and then it was hard. Um, yeah, and I guess that's supposed to make us want to watch it. Fall yeah. Brawl. Yeah, just the perfect timing. The debut, the crappiness, the hilarity, the mistake. Ole Anderson laughing as he's, before he does the voiceover. Yeah. His big old laugh at it. Yeah. <laughs> Sting. Yeah. You know, Sid somehow keeping it together. The the rumor that, oh, the, pretty much fact now that, that all the good guys like Flair and Sting and Davy Boy all ran away laughing. The best you know, is that's why you, incredible zoom in on yeah. the other dudes because everyone just ran away laughing. Yeah, um, yeah, that nothing, nothing even comes close to that. That's your um, one. I'd say second though, given the importance of it, how many people saw it, and how it made my phone go like that for like two days straight. The uh, AEW explosion. The oh, the death match ring. Yeah, like, yeah. you would even you know, see it any more than that. Like, yep. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when I was literally seconds away from going. Wow, that was a really good match. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. Yeah. Whoa, 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 don't don't click tweet. Yeah, just yet, but uh, yeah, that um, a third one of all time. See, to me, because the one that we like, we would focus probably had a, an impact on us as a kid. 
way more than expected, I guess. WrestleMania 2000, the uh, finish to the Hardcore Battle Royal. <laughs> oh, I literally was just talking One, about the- two, yes. yeah. Buzz. Yeah. <laughs> and then they still put it on Bob Holly, right? The winner of the match. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Holly. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's kind of looking there like, uh, uh, I guess we got to go with this. That, yeah. yeah. You, Just because never... we, we, as kids, we go, wait, 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 rewind that one. Yes. But that, huh? Obviously, I remember I don't just kind of like watching it as a kid and going, I mean, that didn't seem right. But whatever, but now it's like, oh, that was really bad. Yeah, yeah. And speaking of which, we talk about like people you mark out like the Ring Crew Express. Like, I have no plans, immediate plans to come to America anytime soon. But if Bill Buchanan <laughs> was doing a sign of that, I'm like, oh, I love that tag match you had. <laughs> <laughs> that WrestleMania sucked, but we love that tag match. Uh, <laughs> so now I got to be selfish. Uh, I don't remember the first time I was featured. I remember probably the latest time I was featured. Is there a favorite me or is there one of, is there a me botch that stands out? Because the only one that stands out to me is the latest one in AIW with the fall down the stairs when it immediately happened. And I go, I fell and I literally go, oh no. Because the carpet was just over these little shitty wooden steps, and I just hit the carpet, and I, everyone thought backstage, again, John Thorne thought that I was knocked out, because I just went straight down, I popped up, and then they go, oh, God, okay. But I immediately, the whole match, and going, oh, man, that's, that's, that's going to make it immediately. That's going to immediately be sent to him, and or if, if he doesn't see it, it's, it's going to happen. It's going to be in one of the next, and I was like, I, I knew it, but then there was something. I remember there was something in WWE too that I did that I messaged you or that I yeah, and I can't you told remember me what it. it even was, but it was like Dolph Ziggler, the kick, the kick. Oh, I sent it to him. I send it at least. Three I don't know or if this is going to be an year. audio version or not, but for the people who are listening at home, like his his eyes just lit up. Yeah, <laughs> the Brodus, oh, it. where it's it's the uh, the Brodus when I'm in the Brodus gear, and I. Oh, we got a tongue. Uh, remember, yeah. we got a tongue lashing for that so much <laughs> when we got back because, and the best is like, I stopped and I go, huh, huh, in this shitty Brodus singlet. Oh, man, I forgot about that. That was the Especially one. Especially against Dolph Ziggler, aka the only guy to say Botchamania on a WWE like, episode of Raw. How much does that, I'm like, like, oh, how, in 2013, Dolph as well, yeah. prime Dolph. Oh, tweaking whatever. Okay. Like Yeah, the good Dolph. Like <laughs> the best like, Dolph. Never, never in a million years, like the guy that's gotta be one of those moments of did he just drop that on TV? That's awesome. That's that's it yeah, it doesn't very happy for him. Yeah, it doesn't get better than that, yeah. man. That's it's good because I think it makes up for you falling over AI dub. I'm glad you're okay, but it makes up for the fact like watching some of those I think it's a damn Barry that interviewed you one time in a hotel. And clearly, both of you are clearly giving it 100%. And it's definitely not 20 minutes dedicated to you ordering room service. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I've definitely spent real money on And I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. It's not that we're out of things to say. It's just that we've done 17 of these today. So yeah. <laughs> what you're ordering off the menu, Dylan? That's, man, I, for- I completely forgot that that was the one that, uh, that I messaged about. That's awesome. So now we are, I could be wrong, but we're just under 500 episodes in of yeah of the show. Uh, Jesus. Uh, now we always have a good heartfelt moment on this, on this, uh, this, this show at some point. Oh, Where, sweet. What was your favorite? Whack Packer. My, oh, uh, that's a random one. I love it. Um, I'm a Howard Stern fanatic absolute howard stern fanatic i listened to him not live because it's too early but i listened to the the i downloaded immediately definitely eric the actor eric the actor there was a debate they had like two years ago two or three years ago him and robin and fred and all them had a debate of i love that we're talking howard stern this makes me so happy um of beetlejuice versus eric the actor and i said 
that's Ooh. it's the biggest debate that you could have. But yeah, no one gave the the quality content. I feel Eric the actor gave. Uh, Beetlejuice get, has given a ton of content, a ton of content, and really reached, you know, spanned a long time. Eric the actor didn't span a long time, but man, Eric the actor's the quality of his content. And exactly. I feel like they were right there. Uh, another six months, he would have floated with balloons. A hundred percent would have finally floated with balloons. Do, Are you, uh, do you know? I already know about him because Jeremy Borash was doing they did stuff with him in TNA. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I found that out because he was posting a forum on the old CZW fans message. Yeah. Went, what the hell is this? And they're mocking him, and he's going like, you know, talking to Bobby Roode. <laughs> he name dropped me on Howard Stern a couple times, and like, uh, oh, that makes, I was, oh, because yes, because again, because of him, I say, well, I don't say actor, obviously, fucking, yeah. but I don't use the M word. Um, oh, fuck that. I'm like, yes, uh, I we respect. use it consistently. Not I'm because right. I don't like you. I don't like you. It's just because I respect for Eric. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it, yeah i uh i who who would you say yours is your number one i mean jesus eric it's gotta be right I mean, oh my god it just it's one of the fun if you sat down with a team of writers you couldn't come up with a, no. a funnier better the deluded man who was telling billionaires to fuck off yeah <laughs> yes Telling he would call the Howard Stern to hang up on Howard Stern. Like Jeff the drunk does it, oh. but that's because Jeff is. I feel like Jeff is. Uh, Jeff is a jerk. Yeah. Eric, that's part of the quality of him. Though, correct, for entertainment. One hundred percent. And Jeff the drunk, the, the quality of Jeff the drunk depended on if Artie was there. Yes, hundred percent. Eric? What's that one online that still comes to my head? He goes, he does an impression of it. Although I does it, goes, yeah. I took an AIDS test. Yeah. I got a C. <laughs> <laughs> I, I truly feel Eric <sighs> called in to like hold the power. He always wanted to hold the power over Howard. And man, I never would have thought in a million years. This is the first time we talked Howard Stern on all of these episodes, not just small yeah. talk, but even I thought I'd ask you hostels. something rather than you ask me something. Yeah, just, and this uh, is so good. Hell yeah! Stay on hold for two hours. Yeah, just to say yeah, how it goes. So, what do you want? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I want you. Wait, don't hang up. You fuck off. And he would just hang up. <laughs> don't make fun of my voice. <laughs> and just the picture of like when Robin has that little planter, the little Eric planter on her thing with the balloons. For years, that's something that they talk about to this day on, on, on the Stern show. Like, they talk about all the archived stuff he has in this warehouse. I wonder where, like, all of that has to be just in storage, especially they're not even in, they're not in the office really anymore. And all that, man, the money that something like that would make. And, like, people would love that kind of thing. I got, I was lucky enough. Uh, when SummerSlam was in New York one year, or it was maybe Mania or whatever, I had a, a, a random connection to someone that worked with the Stern Show. And I was like, oh, could I see the studio? I drove in and it was like Howard was leaving and I was coming, but I was like, okay, whatever. But then Sal and Richard like came right up to me and JD mm. came right up to me and Gary. I was like, oh, this is really cool. And Sal and Richard were talking wrestling and about Sheik and all that. And I got to see the studio. It was a, a memory, one of the only fun New York City memories I have because I, I just, <laughs> as we know, I hate New York City. But that really made it. And I, it was, it was cool to see. And it was like, man, this is where this happened or this is where this happened. This is where we probably can't talk about that anymore where that happened. But it's like, it's just funny, right, right. funny moments in the Stern show history that I, I was like, oh, this is really, really cool to be in that environment. And for them to yeah. be wrestling fans. Again, we go back to it. It comes up all the time about how wrestling and pro wrestling truly has been in everyone's life in some way or another. Like there is, I, I find it hard to believe there's anyone uh, for the most part that wrestling hasn't been a part of their life at some point, whether it's the littlest bit, their great, great grandfather 
watched it, you know, once a month or they watch it every time, every week. It's I'm realizing that wrestling embodies ev- so many people. And it's crazy to think about to me. Um, that was beautiful, Dylan. <laughs> well, where do you see this going? Where? Do, what's the future for Botchamania? Well, the good news is it's self-sufficient. It's like, well, those electric windmills. It's like, well, you know, one day the wrestlers will stop botching. It's like, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, damn it, you, He-Man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like, of course, what do you mean it's going to stop botching? Of course, it's going to c- continue. Yeah. Um, I think it'll just be dedicated to if I could make that amusing or not. I mean, it's you know, are people going to – like, I think I am aging myself out. But in a nice way, I'm all right aging and old. I've got my mustache here, which looks absolutely terrible on this lighting. So I do have lights, by the way. It's, uh, <laughs> it's I think I've looked my best there. for Dylan. It's nighttime um, over there. It's fine. Yes. I'm I'm lit by the moon. <laughs> <laughs> so, but like you said. We're in an alleyway. So I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a good question. It's it's one of these things why I try. I'm sorry, I'm talking over you. But um, it's one of these things why I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. It's It's hard to plan too much. My head just can't get around planning that much because you've only got control of some bits of your life. And honestly, I like having just a bit of control, enough to get me through the day. I know what I'm going to be doing this year. Yeah, yeah. I'd say this year. Maybe next year after that, I'll be lucky enough. No health issues, nothing like that. Money's fine. I know I've got income and stuff like that. I've got friends and family and got a roof over my head, stuff like that. So I was like, what's next watch Benny? It's just like, we'll just have to see, won't we? That's awesome. You're going to be ready to... Um, be prepared for what the world gives you. It could be like water, like Bruce I, Lee said. I live. I He'd say with North, live, the northeast accent, I, though. <laughs> I I live again. I talk about it a lot. I live by the. I don't. I don't hope or like expect things to happen. I just kind of fly by the seat of the pants. And I, yeah, exactly. Like, a cynical way of saying that, Dylan. I just thought about it in my head. I don't know if I got a t- yeah. chance to say this again in your, in your vicinity. It's like hope in one hand, shit in the other. Yeah. See which one feels so quick. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, That's you've heard that exactly one? Yet. Oh, I thought it was an English thing. No, Damn no, it. no, no, no. It's, Is it it's not? A, it's, it's over here. hundred uh, percent. I stole everything. <laughs> we sure did. <laughs> we don't want, we don't want right. that expression anymore. Now you've got it. It's uh. Well, I wanted to thank you, and and not only just oh. for doing this, but um, again, I've 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 messaged you about it before, but the fact that it'll be eleven o'clock at ten or eleven at night, and I'll I'll be in the living room or in my bedroom, and across the hall, I'll just hear cackle laughing, <laughs> and I'll I'll go in my son's room, and I go, "What are you doing?" He goes, "Watching Botchamania." So and I'm it's watching the same like... clip of you messing up a kick exactly. while dressed as yeah. Brodus Clay. <laughs> and he came, he's come to me, he goes, you know, you were on that one. I said, I, yeah, oh. Oh. but it's like, it's a cool <laughs> thing, man. And it's a really, it's a, it really is a cool connection because as you know, and I've been a fan of, of your content uh, since the, the very, very beginning. And so now it's very, I mean, the aging thing. Now my son is a fan of your content. That's so cool. <laughs> it's like you saying that's nice. It's like, that's nice. But, and I mean, not in a, like in a, a yeah. dicky way. It's just like, oh, that's nice, but I don't get off on it. Yeah. Oh, that's what likes me. It's just, but like the fact that you say, oh, my son likes it. I'm like, oh, yeah. It's, oh, it's a, that's really touching. And it's literally like our, our connection. And it's our, our thing that, man, we'll, we'll watch an episode of The Office and over, you know, over supper and then, Oh, New Batch Mania, we'll watch that. And it's, uh, it's literally our thing. So I, I appreciate that. And I, you I know, really... son, I, I acted with Kermit, you know? Yeah, yeah that's, whatever. That's, oh, he doesn't, as we know, <laughs> he doesn't give a shit about the Muppet stuff, about <laughs> what I do in wrestling, about any of that. <laughs> this office, he could give a shit less about besides that there's an Xbox. That's so to cool. Play. But it, he just, man, he loves, uh, when again, it was you were featured in Botchamania or there was another thing where it was a like a random. I was talked about. Oh, uh, like figure review videos or stuff like that. Oh where yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. He loves watching that stuff. And he goes, if they, if I'm brought up, cause you know, they talked about you. I said, I, I don't, but I, that's awesome. Oh. Thank you. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So stuff like that really like 
it's cool for me and it, it makes me feel good. And having a connection through your videos, it uh, it's always a good thing. So I, I, I do thank you. Oh. For that. It sounds uh, like one of those crappy films that we would put out before that we were making films. Yeah. One man can't yeah. reach his son. <laughs> I'm just going to help my kid. Landed Until a crappy video editor. Coming in a crappy video from the other theater. side of the pond I, with a I, sex I, pest mustache <laughs> helps him find his relationship with his son. I, I know about those crappy WWE films. I was in one. <laughs> I know. And I couldn't get my friends, even though they were high, to watch it. <laughs> I've seen it three times. That's it. I'm, I'm okay. Um, plug your stuff, Matthew. Plug your stuff. Where but you mean you'll be on YouTube in some form. There's about 11 different YouTube accounts. Legend has it. If you watch all of them, you'll get a special reward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're on there. Botchmania will just continue. It's there. Um, Botchmania, again, is the new current one because I ran out of the funny names. You probably remember them then, like Hardcore Botch Holly, yep. Abdullah yep. the Botcher. That's awesome, man. Which is funny, but isn't that good for Brandon? It turns out no, just how no. Botchmania the name. Don't try and be funny, right? Hey, who knows about YouTube and Brandon? Oh well, whatever. Uh, Botchmaniashop.com for all your t-shirt needs um, and things for like that. SBT? Also, you can catch Dylan appearing on Cultaholic, the thing that I do stuff for. Yeah, uh, Dylan is be a guest star in the hit Rumble video series documentary thing. This is not video series at all. I'm saying the wrong things. Just I'm tired. And um, the Royal Rumble video they're putting out soon. We, uh, I, I had an absolute blast talking Royal Rumbles and like the, my love of all things Royal Rumble. So that was an absolute blast to do. I'm, I'm glad I got to do that. So, who's winning this year? Uh, I think it's got to be Punk and Bailey. I'm going. Landon says Bailey's a yeah, good pick. Wow. Yep. Landon of a dark said, horse. I cool. Who he said? I think he said Becky. Yeah, I think, I think he said Punk uh... and Becky. That's a certain one. I think Cody's winning it. I don't think. Oh, Drew. I think. Just out of respect I think, for him. I think Cody wins Chamber. Hmm. I think Punk wins Rumble. Cody wins Chamber. Yeah. That's my guess. So. Well, either way, are you going to be having fun, having fun watching it? I, I, I love it. I, I take off That's every it. year. Every year I make sure I'm home for the Rumble. And it's just something. That and WrestleMania. Like, I, I do WrestleCon. But then I always make sure to fly home for Mania to watch it with Landon every year. Aww. And I'll never not. Like, I truly will never not do that. Uh, because it's like, that's why I love the two. People, like, hate the two nights. I love it. I yeah, No, likewise, mate. It's great. It's great. More big-time feel wrestling, the better. I love it. So Easy to watch as well. It, over two days rather than one eight smooth. hour show like i mean you're still getting five hours a night which is crazy if you think about it like it used to be three hours and that was it that was it yeah but one hour of an hour and a half of that is adverts so it's all right yeah yeah <laughs> you gotta go make a sandwich at some point yeah but it's just it's i i i truly still do you feel and here's a here's kind of a heartfelt one do you feel that you can still love watching wrestling at this point or can you mostly take, yeah you can take your yeah, mostly, away with events content. like this yeah you know, very good thing that mostly i can enjoy it yeah sometimes if i'm bored i'm like god i hope someone on the commentary just says hey remember robot wars just some months after because i'm like i'm bored out of this but like no like not all wrestling that's ridiculous i never liked all wrestling never will be that's not how wrestling works but by and large yeah and when i really enjoy it it's not just sad bastard me behind a computer, but it's me, me mates. Yeah. Like I'll, I'll watch a C plus show with my mates, have a good time. They're yeah. like, you know, you know, a plus star thing by myself. Yeah. It, it's, it's just, that's it. If I'm with your mates, you got your, you, you got the food and drink and stuff like that. You're like, ah, oh, this is it. Just yeah, cause we've all got those big dumb mates. who are like, yeah, oh, this match is going to suck. Yeah. Like, loud as out. As soon as I'm there for yo, you see that? I'm like, yeah, I'm right and next to you. Even if you know what's, if you, if you in your mind determine the outcome that eventually happens, it's still, if you're watching it with people, it's still like, it's different. It lets you, it yeah. brings you back to when you were a kid watching. I truly feel like you allow it's yourself... It's so easy to get yeah. to be a fan, right? Especially, yep. look, as, as England is based on insecurity and mm -hmm. tribalism, that's how we're bred. We think, as far as we're concerned, the people two streets away from us 
aren't even human. So the tribalism of going, oh, let's go wrestling show. Who do you want to win? The guy on the left. I want the guy on the right. We're now mortal enemies, and I'll make noise. Oh, it's yeah. so easy to get into. It's so English. So, That's... Man, I truly can't thank you enough. This has been an awesome, awesome time. I uh, Again, you're a buddy of mine. You've turned into a friend of mine, and I appreciate this. Thanks, bud. Oh, I love you too. I love you. I love John the Stutterer. I love Marianne from Brooklyn. <laughs> Huge shout out and thank you to Matthew for taking the time to come and sit and hang out with us today. Great interview as always. Dylan snaps all around. It's it's crazy to me like how we talked about it in the interview, how he has grown and how the lore of Botchamania and Matthew has has just gotten big. Um and like like I say, Dolph <laughs> dropping it on Raw or SmackDown. I can't think of what it was. But uh that and just a lot of like a lot of just like hints at things on televised wrestling. Um so many people. A wink and a nod, if you will. Yes. That's it. Uh, so many people just know about it, and and it's. I think. I mean, he knows. He deep down knows it's big. I think it's even bigger than he knows in the wrestling, like in the backstage behind the curtain world. It's. it's it, I look forward to it every time it comes out. My Landon, literally, it's not a lie. Landon will be in bed, and I'll hear him laughing at it. And like new episodes, old episodes, he'll just turn them on and just die laughing at them. And it's it's a it's a fun thing. Fantastic. Uh, all right. Um, just quick wrap up here at Going Postal Pod at Dylan Postal on all forms of social media. Make sure to check out the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Dylan Postal, twitch.tv slash Dylan Postal. Ah, what happened, Dylan? What happened, Dylan? <laughs> Tell the people at home what you just did. I stabbed myself with the hanger that you told me not to pitch it with. Oh, and you and you broke it. Yeah, I'm really pissed off now. Because I always need more hangers, and now I broke it, and I literally stabbed myself in the belly with it. That hurts so bad. Are you okay? I hit her. I <laughs> I don't there's, even want to plug anything else anymore. <laughs> How appropriate <laughs> that you botch the outro on the episode that we have the botchamania guy. Ah, I'm more mad that I broke my <laughs> my ten cent hanger. I stabbed myself in the tummy with it. <laughs> God damn it. Swagalauction.com, $10 whatnot credit, DylanPostal.com, ProWrestlingTees.com slash Swaggle. Dylan, say something. Do game your outro. Pod. Check it out. Every week, they rate a game, whether it is game over or future endeavored. Every week. They rate that's, a, that's, a new wrestling game, an old wrestling game. That's two bad things. You said two bad things. It could be game over or it could be future endeavored. They rate it. You like it. They also do fun history videos. Johnny Clash tries to do things on Fortnite. Doesn't go so well for him a lot of times. Caruse, that's his real name. Social security number in the description below. Uh, check out Game Marks Pod. It's a ton of fun. I can't believe that they're still able to find wrestling games that they haven't reviewed to this day. And it's, uh, it's mind blowing to me and it surprises me every time, but it's always, always, always a very fun listen. Check them out wherever you listen or download your favorite podcast, Game Marks Podcast. Are you well? I feel like you're still no, reeling I'm to break from the... more. This is why, oh. see, you're going to have to check in on like, hey man, what are you fidgeting with? And it can't be something breakable. So now Dunn's going to say something and then do his signature sign off. Check me out on Whatnot tonight if you're listening live. Thanks.